Join them on one of their many social media outlets as they dive into the heart-pounding action at the region's premier treks, awesome dirt treks like Southwest Missouri's E3 Speedway, Lebanon, Nevada Speedway, Hillbilly Speedway. They're at Twist Rally last night. Heck of a show. Ton of carts, and they still got out of there by 1030. Good racing there for the Summer Sizzler last night. And, of course, here at Monet Motor Speedway, be sure to subscribe for thrilling racing action. There's so many places you could find his work, including YouTube and on X. Show me dirt on X there. All right, we got the cars coming out now. Again, going to start things off with our Bomber class here. Two heat races to start tonight. Starting on the ro first row for heat race number one here in our pure stocks, going to be Dylan Bowman out of Purdy, Missouri, and the number 69 machine on his outside. going to be number 54 of Dean Kimberling, all the way from Berryville, Arkansas. Inside row number two is going to be Brandon Sanders in the number 64 machine coming out of Aurora, Missouri, on his outside. Mr. Lenny Coates in that 134. And starting in the rear there, Mr. Sean Coates in that 34 machine coming from Joplin, Missouri. Starting in that fifth spot, brand new car. Been out one time. Good looking field here. Eight laps the distance. We're looking for that Ozark fiber restart zone as Dylan Bowman brings him around. Turns three and four. Freedom Bank green flag. Here we go. Dylan Bowman out to your initial lead. Dean Kimberling in that second spot. Watch out, Lenny Coates in that third spot. Brandon Sanders is going to fall back. Sean Coates getting around him. He'll move up to that fourth spot. Lenny Coates looking to the bottom side. Dean Kimberling here. Dylan Bowman going to lead lap number one. Dean Kimberling in that second spot. Lenny Coates in third for now. Watch out, Sean Coates on a stop side. They're side by side as they make their way down the back stretch. Sean Coates getting around Lenny. Good run for Sean Coates in that black number 34 machine. He's looking to take over that second spot. Dylan Bowman leading another lap. Watch out, Dean Kimberlin looking to the inside. Sean Coates falls back just a little bit. Dean Kimberling going to take another look to the inside here. Right. Five laps to go here in your pure stock heat race. Number one, Dylan Bowman out front. Coming around, turns three and four. Good looking run for Coates there. Halfway through your pure stock heat race. Number one, Dylan Bowman, your leader, Dean Kimberling in that second spot. Again, looking at that inside, Dylan Bowman holding on strong. Top four starting to get bunched up together. Watch out, Sean Coates. Again, looking at the inside there, the 54 machine. Three laps going here in your pure stock key race number one. Dylan Bowman running his fastest lap that last time by with a 21.028. Sean Coates taking a look to the inside there. Dean Kimberling, he'll tuck it back in. Lenny Coates right back behind him. Dylan Bowman starting to walk away just a little bit. Dean Kimberling in that second spot starting to fall back. Pretty good lead here for the number 69 at Dylan Bowman as they make their way to the white flag this time. Dylan Bowman still out front. Dean Kimberling in that second spot. And Sean Coates rounding out your top three. Everybody pretty much lined up. Bowman, Kimberling, Coates, Coates, and Sanders. We'll see how they finish here as they come through. Turns three and four. Coates going to take a look to the bottom side. He'll finish in that third spot. Dylan Bowman taking the win from the pole there. Dean Kimberly finishing second. Sean Coates on number 34. He's going to finish third. Lenny Coates in the 134, finishing fourth. And Brandon Sanders are rounding out the field there in that number 64 machine. 
Congratulations, Dylan Bowman, and that number 69. Heat race number two getting ready to make their way onto the track next. Starting on the pole here for your heat race number two. Got a stranger coming. The number four, that's going to be Joseph Jackson, all the way from Grove, Oklahoma, in the Camaro. On his outside, Mr. James Adams in that double zero, I believe, Casey Harris' old car. Inside a row number two is going to be Dale Sinners in the number 25 machine coming from Cassville, Missouri. On his outside, going to be number 17 of Landon McLaughlin. Heat race a number two here in your pure stock division. Lights are out. We're ready to get it on. Green flag brought to you by Freedom Bank. Here we go. We're three wide for second right off the bat. Dale Sanders are going to the inside. Going to try to take the lead before we even get into turn number one. Coming out of turn number two here. Dale Sanders, your leader, making his way down the back stretch. Double zero, James Adams looking on the outside. He's going to try to take that second spot away from Joseph Jackson. Jackson to move back to that third spot. Landon McLaughlin in that number 17. We'll do the same here. Dale centers out front of this thing. Double zero, James Adams in that second spot. Landon McLaughlin starting to reel in that double zero as they make their way down the back stretch. Dale yeah, Center's leading a lap at number two. There's six to go, winning a 20.345. James Adams are running a 21.186 that last time by. McLaughlin with a fast lap, 21.042. He's going to try to look to the inside of the double zero. Dale centers out front of this thing by 2.88 seconds. McLaughlin going to take a look to the inside of the double zero. Halfway through your Pierre Stock Heat race number two. McLaughlin. He was going to take a look to the outside double zero. Adams doing a great job of protecting. Boy, what a run for that 17. He makes his way down the back stretch. Runs right back into the back of the double zero now he's on the bottom side gonna try to look side by side he's gonna make their way down the front stretch still hanging out at his back door side by side through one and two they go tail centers out front by 4.135 McLaughlin don't know whether to go to the top side or the bottom side here He's just all over the back bumper of this double zero machine. Going to give it another go on that top side. Going to try to go the hard way around. Coming off the top. Good run down the back stretch. They go. 17 machine to second spot. Got the double camera brought to you by Wesco Home Furnishings 819 U.S. Highway 60 here in Monette. Dale centers that number 25 out front by 5.381. Taking the white flag this time by. Sails it off into one and two. Blagothlin holding on to that second spot. Adams doing his best to stay right there with him. Number four machine, Joseph Jackson. Going to take that white flag. Watch out. Coming off turn number four. We got the 25 of Dale Sinners taking home the win there in heat race number two. Landon McLaughlin going to finish in that second spot. James Adams in the double zero finishing third. And coming off the turn number four is going to be the number four of Joseph Jackson finishing in that fourth spot. 
Again, Dale Sinners, your winner in that one. Dale Sinners, your winner in that one. Elena McLaughlin. Dale Sinners, your winner in that one. Landon McLaughlin coming in that second spot. James Adams in the double zero finishing third. And Joseph Jackson in the number four finishing the fourth. The Davidson Suns, USA B Modifieds making their way out onto the track now, starting on the pole. National points leader out of Bella Vista, Arkansas, and points leader here at Motor Speedway in your Davidson Suns, USA B Modifieds. It's going to be the double zero of Case and Harris on his outside. It's going to be the number 56 machine coming all the way from Cross Timbers, Missouri. It's Hoyt Miller. Inside row number two, Mr. Kinzen Martin in the number four machine coming all the way from Cave Springs, Arkansas. And on his outside, the number 26 of Burrow Woods. Starting on that last row is going to be Evan Clark in the number 37 on his outside, the 33 of Steve Muhlenberg. These drivers hit that Ozark fiber restart zone. We are green flag racing. Brought to you by Freedom Bank. Casey here shoots him off into one and two. He's got Hoyt Miller right in tow there. Boy, Miller going to take a look to the inside as they make their way down the back stretch. Boy, Miller on the inside. Case and Harris on the outside. Case and Harris going to lead lap number one here. Go for your Davidson Suns USA B modifies. Boy, Miller challenging for the lead as they go down the back stretch. Boy, Miller with the lead. Gives him a little slide job. Kins and Martin. Going to look to get around the double zero as well. Case and Harris not going anywhere, though. Burl Woods in that third spot there. Hoyt Miller out front. Case and Harris in that second spot. And Burl Woods, your top three, 33. And Steve Muhlenberg fighting it out with the four machine at Kins and Martin. That's going to be for that fourth spot, Evan Clark. Bringing up the rear of the field here. Come on, your halfway point. Hoyt Miller in that 56 machine. Still your leader in that J2 car. Case and Harris in a double zero sitting in second. Burrow Woods in third. 19.499 last time by for young Hoyt Miller in that 56 car. Looking good so far here. Going to be two to go this time by for Hoyt Miller. Case Harris using that top line here, going through one and two. Burl Woods kind of working in as well. Hoyt Miller comes off a turn at number four, taking the white flag. One more to go for the 56 machine. Double zero. Case Harris still in that second spot. Muhlenberg looking to get under Burl Woods as they make their way down the backstretch. Too much distance between the two. 56 machine going to take the win here. Hoyt Miller, your winner. Hoyt Miller going to take the win there. Case and Harris coming in that second spot. Burl Woods rounding out your top three. Steve Muhlenberg finishing in the fourth. Kins and Martin fifth. And Evan Clark rounding out your field there. And their Davidson Sons USRA B modified E race number one. Heat race number two, your David and Sons, USRA B modified. It's getting ready to make their way onto the track now. Starting 
on the pole. It's going to be the 24L of Patrick Lewis coming all the way from Wellsville, Missouri. On his outside, it's going to be the number 30 from Pierce City, Missouri of Cody Cook. Starting inside a row, and number two is going to be the number 32 machine of Kelly Chick Hicks. On his outside, the number five of Daniel Anders out of Joplin. And starting in the rear there, the number 45 of Dan Colt. Coming all the way from Hinesville, Arkansas. Still waiting on the 30 machine of Cody Cook. Lights are out. I believe we're going to go ahead and run with Adam. Patrick Lewis and Daniel Anders are row number one. Uh, Kelly Chick Hicks and Dan Culp are row number two. Looking again for that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Got two green feathers there in turn number four. That represents our uh, green flag zone. Here we go. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. Of Southern Missouri, we appreciate them. Daniel Anders looking bad fast right off the bat. Daniel Anders, your leader, coming through three and four. Dan Culp was looking to follow him on that top side, but he tucks into that third spot right behind Patrick Lewis in that 24-0 machine. A lot of popping and cracking coming from Kelly Chick Hicks' machine. He falls back fast, unfortunately. Daniel Anders out front here. Out of Joplin, Missouri. Anders out front. Patrick Lewis in that second spot. Dan Colt in third. He's got a good run coming off of turn number two. He reels in that 24 machine. Looking at the inside. Watch out. We're spinning. That'll bring out the caution. Caution being brought to you by Joplin Lock and Key. Here's the replay on it. No contact or anything. The 24 L of Lewis just spins, gets a little bit too high. There in turn number three. Culp escapes him right on his bottom side. And your, Anders, rather, your leader here. Two laps in the book, six to go still. Dan Culp. Look to go to the bottom side. That I put Kelly Chick Kicks up top. The 24 L of Patrick Lewis in the back here for our Delaware double file restart. Anders brings it around a three and four. Green flag, here we go. Daniel Anders, who they're going down. The backstretch can't call from that second spot. Patrick Lewis already looking to get back into that third spot. Kelly Chick Kicks doing a great job of defending. Your leader here, just past your halfway point as they make their way down the back stretch. Dan Culp in that second spot, looking to challenge for the lead. Dan Culp on the bottom side of Anders, tucks it right back in. Two laps to go, Dan Culp on the bottom side, Anders on the top side, they're making their way down the back stretch. Culp with a good run down from that bottom side, I believe he'll take it. Slides up in front of Anders, white flag coming out this time by 
45 of Culp, your new leader this time. Anders moves back to that second spot. 24 of Lewis. And Kelly, she kicks rounding out your field there. Culp just going to break free. He's already, he's already got probably a three-car lead. Maybe a four-car lead as it makes his way off on turn number four. Your winner is going to be Dan Culp in that number 45 machine. Anders taking that second spot. Patrick Lewis taking third. And Kelly, chick kicks are rounding out your top four. Time for your Nap Auto Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified Heat Race number one. Starting on the pole is going to be the 12X machine of Deer and Burt coming all the way from Marionville, Missouri. On his outside is going to be the 929 of Garrett Thompson out of Joplin, Missouri. Inside a row, the number two is going to be David Mullring and the number 76 machine on his outside. The 12M of Ronnie Maples coming all the way from Crane, Missouri. And in the rear there is going to be the 86J out of Cassville, Missouri of Corey Johnson. Lights are out. We're ready to get it on. Darren Bird brings him off a of turn number four. Hits that loud pedal. We're ready to go racing here. Garrett Thompson in the 929 off that top side. Going to take the lead going through one and two just like that. We're three wide for three. Johnson on the bottom side, the number 76 machine of Mooring right there through the middle. We're three wide coming off of four. Garrett Thompson, your leader out front all by himself there, leading lap number one. Darren Burton at second spot. Corey Johnson wiggles his way through that three wide mess. He is in third now. And Mooring rounding out your top four, Ron Maples in that fifth spot. Big lead for that 929 machine. Darren Burton, another six cars, seven cars back, I believe. Halfway through, just past your halfway point here. 929 at Thompson, your leader, Darren Burton, that 12X machine in that second spot. And he's being challenged by the 86J of Johnson. Johnson looking to the bottom side. He'll tuck right back behind Burt here. Looking again to the bottom side. 
He'll tuck right back behind that 12X. Side by side coming off of turn number two. Down the back stretch they go. Burt motors right on past them here. Coming to the white flag, the 929 machine. Still side by side, fighting for second there. Johnson's gonna throw it at him. Burt not going anywhere. There's still nose and nose going down the back stretch. Johnson with the advantage on the bottom side. He pulls a little slide job. Thompson takes the win, but it's Johnson going, coming in second. Darren Burt's gonna finish third there. Muller Finishing in that fourth spot. Good a racing there for our Nap Auto Parts, a Midwest modified heat race. Number one, 929 of Garrett Thompson taking the win there. Corey Johnson coming from the rear, finishing in that second spot. Darren Burt rounding out your top three. All right, still all putting a little more water down on that top side there in one and two. Steve Muhlenberg in a 33M starting on the inside pole. On his outside is going to be the number 64 of Pete Richardson. Inside a row, number two is going to be Michael Gillis. On his outside, Blake Muhlenberg. And in the rear, Kyle Thompson in the 292 green flag. Here we go.
legends making their way onto the track next. Starting on the pole for your INX, a legends heat race. Number one going to be the double zero, Smoke Metcalf. On Smoke's outside is going to be the 01 of Chance Gilbert. Inside row number two going to be the 41 of Peyton Pyle. On his outside, Mr. Evan Pyle in that 72. Inside row number three is going to be 68 of Jordan Myers. In your IMAX Legends Heat Race number one. Double zero, Smoke Metcalf. I can go tailback. It's going to put the 01, Chance Gilbert, on the pole there. are out ready to get it on here. Green flag, here we go. Oh, what a chance, Gilbert, your leader, making his way around. Uh, turns one and two. 41 of Peyton Powell in that second spot. Evan Powell in third. Peyton Powell getting Going right on that back bumper of the number 41 machine. Two laps in the books. Oh, what a chance, Gilbert. Still, you're either there. 41, a Peyton Powell in that second spot. Evan Powell in third. Double zero, Smoke. Metcalf in that fourth spot. Gosh, coming out here on lap number two, number 68 of Jordan Myers, spinning there between turns one and two. Three laps on the books here. Chance Gilbert, still your leader in the 01 machine, the 41 of Peyton Powell in that second spot. Evan Powell, number 72, your top three. Lights are out, ready to get it on at once again. Three down, five to go. Green flag, here we go. Chance Gilbert still out front here, just past your halfway point. 
put a lap number five. Peyton Powell still in that second spot. Evan Powell in that 72 machine. Gonna take a look to that second spot. Way high. White flag for the 01 machine. Chance Gilbert still your leader going down the back stretch, really stretch it out now. Calling to the checkered flag, gonna be the 01. A Chance Gilbert taking home the win there. Peyton Powell got a fender falling off, but he's still taking that second spot. And the 72 of Evan Powell finishing third. Peyton Powell finishing in that second spot. Heat race number two making their way onto the track now. Starting on the pole is going to be Tanner Foster on that one machine on his outside. The number 55 of Kenny Foster. Inside row number two is going to be the 31 of Mike Gilbert on his outside. 83 of Katie Smith. Lights are out, we're ready to get it on. Green flag, here we go. Tanner Foster out to the quick lead here. Kenny Foster in that second spot. Chance Gilbert rounding out your top three. Gilbert looking to the inside of Foster. Boy, all over his back bumper. He's gonna take it up to the outside now and lose a little ground. Tanner Foster gonna lead lap number one. Kenny Foster in that second spot for now. Chance Gilbert on that outside. Boy, he is fast on that top side. He's gonna try to take a look going down the back stretch. Almost nose to nose. Kenny Foster hits that loud pedal and advances into that second spot. Keeps that second spot rather. Tanner Foster still your leader there. Kenny Foster in that second spot. And Chance Gilbert rounding out your top three. Foster leads another one just past your halfway point there.
Tanner Foster, leader here, two to go. Mike Gilbert up in that third, second spot. Kenny Foster in third. 83 of Kaylee Smith pulling off the track there. Coming around to take the white flag, the number one of Tanner Foster. Here he comes off a of turn number four, the number one, a Tanner Foster. Taking home the win there. Tanner Foster taking the win in your INX Legends Heat Race number one. All right, time for your USRAA modified heat race number one. Starting on the pole, going to be the number 55 of Nathan Hager out of Adair, Oklahoma. On his outside, Tracy Cottrell making it back after flipping between turns three and four last time he was here. He's in that beautiful number 18 machine, that white 18 machine out of Buffalo, Missouri. Inside row number two is going to be Greg Scheffler in the 21 machine. On his outside is going to be Billy Smith in that 76S. And then starting in the rear there, Henry Chambers in the number 17 out of Baldwin City, Kansas. And Tyler Barker in the 32. Looking for that Ozark Fiber Restart Zone. Green flag, here we go. Nathan Hager, your leader right off the bat here. Watch out, Castro on that top side. Coming around, lead lap number one's gonna be the 55 and Nathan Hager. 21 machine of Greg Scheffler in that second spot. And 17 of Henry Chambers. All three right there together. Side by side down the back stretch they go. Nathan Hagen on the top side. Scheffler on the bottom side. Henry Chambers trying to get up there. Right there with him. Hager going to lead lap number two as well. Hager, your leader by three tenths of a second that last time by. Scheffler and Chambers battling it out for that second spot. 32 of Tyler Barker already making it up to the fourth. Getting around Cottrell. Five laps to go, three in the books. Nathan Hager still your leader. Loves to see them guys battling it out for that second spot behind him. Greg Scheffler and Henry Chambers. Hager had an 8.25 lead last time by. He stretches it out another half a second to a 1.323. Henry Chambers still sitting in that second spot. Greg Scheffler in third. Goes back to Tyler Barker. Tracy Cotter rounding out your top five. Billy Smith rounding out the field there. Three laps to go. Nathan Hager really got a good lead now. 1.614, almost half a straightaway lead as they make their way down the front stretch. It's going to be two to go this time by. Henry Chambers finally starts to get away from Greg Scheffler here. 1.5. The distance between first and second. White flag out for your leader here in the USRA modified heat race. Number one. Hager won last night. He's going to try to make it two nights in a row here. 55. Hager comes off a turn four. We're going to take the win here in the USRA modified heat race. Number one. Henry Chambers going to come in that second spot. Greg Scheffler rounding out your top three. Tyler Barker and Tracy Cottrell rounding out your top five. (laughs) 
Nathan Hager, your winner there. Nathan Hager, your winner. Henry Chambers in that second spot. Greg Scheffler, Tyler Barker, and Tracy Cottrell rounding out your top five. All right, heat race number two, getting ready to line it up here. Starting on the pole is going to be Dean Wiley in the number 68 machine, coming all the way from Warrensburg, Missouri, and on the outside, going to be the number 73 of Mickey Burrell. Inside row number two, Jared Dotson in the 24-7 on his outside, coming all the way from Westville, Oklahoma, going to be the 712 of Trevor Hughes. Inside of row number three, going to be Gary Christian, that 58X machine coming from Broken Bone, Oklahoma, and on his outside, Troy Martin in that nine a star. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank as they make their way through into turn number one and two. We're side by side for the lead. Mickey Burrell and Dean Wiley. Wiley's taking over the lead in that green and white machine as it makes its way into turn three and four right there, right behind him. 73, Burrell. Trevor Hughes up to that fourth spot trying to make his way around that 58. 58, wow! Really starting to make moves there in that 58X machine. That's Gary Christian. Three wide down the back stretch. Trevor Hughes up to that second spot, side by side with Gary Christian. Hughes already up. Watch out, Mickey Burrell spinning in front of the 24. Jop unlocking the key caution coming out there for Mickey Burrell. Was running second at that time. Just gets a little bit loose there. One lap of the book, seven to go there. Pretty good racing so far. We got them lined. We got them lined back up. We're ready to get it on. Oh. Green flag. Here we go. Side by side for lead down the back stretch. They go the 58 machine of Gary Christian on the bottom side, taking the lead away from the 68 of Dean Wally. Trevor Hughes looking to get him around him as well. Six laps to go, Trevor Hughes. Good exit off a of turn at number two. He's right down the bottom side. He'll take over that second spot. That man is bad fast tonight. Gary Christian, 9.87 second lead over the 712 of Trevor Hughes as they make their way down the back stretch in through three and four. Coming your halfway point here, Christian at 58X. Your leader running at 18.045 last time by. Trevor Hughes running at 18.306. Just three tenths of a second slower than that 58 machine. Christian really, really fast around this moment at Motor Speedway tonight here. Three laps to go in your USRA modified heat race number two. Gary Christian, your leader, Trevor Hughes in that second spot. Dean Wiley rounding out your top three. Everybody else kind of falling back behind. Two to go, two phalanges in the air. Gary Christian, that 58X machine, coming around three and four. Working that low middle line, white flag in the air. Trevor Hughes, not going to have enough time. Hughes working that top side. He's ready for the feature. He knows where he's going to be. 
White flag coming out for the nine star machine, but right behind him, we got the 58X of Gary Christian taking home the win. I believe this is the first time we've seen him out here at Motor, at Motor Speedway. Trevor Hughes in that 712, his first time this year. Dean Wiley coming in that third spot. Mickey Burrow finishing fourth. Jared Dotson rounding out your top five. Again, for everybody here in the stands, Gary Christian in the 58X machine out front by 1.179 over the 712 of Trevor Hughes. Dean Wiley coming in that third spot. Mickey Burrell and Jerry Dotson rounding out your All right, I know it's what you all came for. Time for some bombers. Heat race number one making their way onto the track right now. Darren Moyers in the number 63 machine got himself a new car. I believe it's already for sale. He's out of Fairgrove, Missouri. He's going to start on the pole on his outside. Going to be the 82X of Evan Clark. Evan pulling double duty tonight. James DeWitt in the 930 coming all the way from Pineville, Missouri. He's going to start inside row number two on his outside. It's going to be Charles Hernandez in the number 11 out of Aurora. Tyler Stone's going to start that 26 machine out of Billings, Missouri, inside to row number three. On his outside is going to be 82 of Jesse Parmley. And starting in the rear there, the number 33 of Michael Gillis coming all the way from Clever, Missouri. Moyers, Clark, a row number one. Charles Hernandez pulling to the inside. Going to start with six. Moyers gets them started off a of turn number four. Green flag. Here we go. Green flag again being brought to you by Freedom Bank. Right there in our Ozark Fiber restart zone. James DeWitt already your leader out front. James DeWitt looking good out front. Parmalee already Challenging for that second spot. Watch out, we're gonna be three wide for second, coming off a of turn at number four. 33 machine, Michael Gillis up into that second spot. We're bumping and banging. James DeWitt out front, Michael Gillis in that second spot. Parmley in third. 26 of Tyler Stone looking to go to the top side. 26 trying to get around that 63 machine of Moyers. They're side by side, bumping and begging, coming off of turn number two. Stone on the bottom side, Moyers on the top side. Be careful with that car, it is for sale. James DeWitt going to lead another one here, halfway through your bummer. He race number one, Michael Gill is still in that second spot. Jesse Parmalee, Tyler Stone, and Darren Moyers rounding out your top five. James DeWitt with a 1.544 second lead that last time. Two phalanges in the air, gonna be white flag next time by for your leader of the 930 of James DeWitt. Michael Gill is still holding on to that second spot. Not a whole lot of movement now from your top five. Everybody gets a little bit stretched out here. Again, a white flag for James DeWitt there. Michael Little still in that second spot. James Parmley, Tyler Stone, and Darren Moyers, your top five. Nothing going to happen there in your top three. There might be a little position change for fourth there. Checkered flag coming out for your leader. Going to be the 930 of James DeWitt taking the win here in Bomber Heat Race. Number one, Michael Gillis coming in that second spot. Chesley Parmley finishing third. Tyler Stone and Darren Morris rounding out your top five. And Mr. Evan Clark finishing right there in sixth. All right. One more heat race before we head off into intermission. All right, now they're coming onto the track here. Starting on the pole is going to be Daryl Riddick in the number 29 machine coming all the way from Aurora, Missouri. On his outside, Duke Davis in the number 69 coming all the way from Grove, Oklahoma to race with us. Will Tatershaw in the 81 WT coming off all the way from Bodark, Missouri. On his outside is going to be Larry Jordan in the number 10. 
Inside to row number three is going to be Brandon Bishop in the three jam. On outside, Mr. Zachary Riddick in the Z66. Another new car. Quite a few new cars coming and racing with us here tonight. We appreciate them very much. Lights are out, ready to get it on again. Again, Riddick and Davis, a row number one. Tater Shaw and Larry Jordan, a row number two. Lights are out, we're getting it on. Green flag, here we go. Daryl Riddick, your leader. Will Tater Shaw looking to take that away from him here on lap number one. Tater Shaw going to look at the inside. Riddick on that top side in that purple and white Ford Probe. Tater Shaw all over his back bumper here. A lot of good racing. Riddick and Tater Shaw battling for the lead there. Davis and Riddick fighting for third. Side by side for third. Tater Shaw doing some drafting here as he looks to the inside. Slingshot engaged. Tater Shaw going to be your new leader going down the back stretch. Riddick will fall back to that second spot. Zachary Riddick, that is. 69 of Duke Davis was trying to fight back for his third position. He'll fall back to the Z66 of Zachary Riddick. Tater Shaw, Daryl Riddick, one and two. Zachary Riddick, Duke Davis, three and four. Brandon Bishop and Larry Jordan. That is your field right now. Two laps to go here in Bomber Heat Race. Number two, Will Tater Shaw. Out front of this thing, Daryl Riddick in that second spot. Come under the white flag one more time around for the 81 of Will Tatershaw. Darren going to give it all that he's got. Looking again to the inside here. Will Tatershaw up high. Checkered flag coming out for Will Tatershaw. Taking home the win there in your bomber heat race. Number two, Dale Riddick coming in that second spot. Zachary Riddick finishing third, Brandon Bishop fourth, and Duke Davis rounding out your top five. All right, that'll take us to our intermission.